I'm sitting here at Oakley Brothers Distillery with Jared Oakley, and I just got a couple questions for you about how you guys run things around here. Not a problem. All right. First of all, what brought you to Anderson? How'd you guys end up here with a distillery? Um, good question. Uh, kind of a long story. Uh, my brother lives in Noblesville, Indiana, and I was living down in Greenville, South Carolina, and uh, hobby, uh, hobby distilling in the garage. And uh, my brother very quickly kind of got interested in it as well. Indiana opened up the laws and made it legal to, uh, to have an artist in the distillery. My brother found a very inexpensive piece of property over in Edgewood in order for us to start our distillery and set and do R&D and distilling and barrel aging for three years. Um, so basically very affordable property is what ultimately got <laughs> introduced us to uh, to Anderson. I got to ask, I see a dog running around back here. Can sure. you tell me about him a little bit? That's Huck. Yeah, that's Huck. Huck. He is a Labradoodle. He um, doesn't know that he's, an, he's a dog. He thinks he's a human. Right. But, uh, Has Huck made an appearance on any of your guys' social media yet? Have no, you turned him into your mascot? No, not yet. Not yet. We're, we're just actually, when it comes down to social media and all that, we, we have been really active on social media. We're just now getting where we're starting to look at you know, digging deeper into uh, digital media, behavioral targeting, billboards, and, right. and so on and so forth. So you said you're just getting started. Or started. Uh, I've seen your Facebook. You guys are posting a lot. Do you have any kind of goals or anything that you're trying to show off about the distillery through those posts? Um, goals, no. Um, but what we do share, we have a little bit over 2,000 followers. What we do with that is we share... Um, up and coming events, what's going on, share our successes with everybody. We, we make sure we let everybody, you know, and thank everybody. And I get a lot of people that tell me that, that they were in that night mm -hmm. because they saw our post on Facebook. Right. You're getting a lot of engagement on all your yes. posts. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we get a great deal of engagement. Are you finding that it's kind of building a community around the place or helping Correct. bring people in? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you hope to do with it? Like you said, you're thinking about expanding, like what are you thinking of expanding to? With uh, social media, we're, we're going to branch off into doing some ads and we're going to branch off right. into Muncie, you know, where we can do some age demographics. Also going to branch off into Pendleton and also into Noblesville. Okay. We haven't even started on any of the other social okay. medias yet. We just did, we had Facebook, we kept with Facebook. The demographic around here is you got a lot of 20 somethings, but they're using Facebook around here. But you got a lot of 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 year olds yeah. that we get in here. And those are those are really the tar target audience for for Anderson at this point for the demographic. Um, so we find that we get a lot of response off of our off of our Facebook. OK, what uh, talking about expanding, like doing ads and things. Uh, do you have you looked into what you want to do next? Like, are you looking at Instagram? Or are you thinking of Twitter? Yeah, we're definitely going to get started on Instagram. Um, definitely is going to be the next one. Twitter, yeah, we'll probably get into Twitter too. All right, cool. Well, uh, that's all I need. Is there anything else you would like to say, or anything you want to add, or promote anything? Not at this point, but okay. everybody come in and have a beer. Okay, great. Yeah, cool. awesome. Well, yeah, thank you for doing this for me. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay.